out again. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is and that is Trees, and I am of course Trees. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new, if you are just stopping by to see what this video is about and what we got going on over here, we are happy to have you, baby. We love new visitors over here. And if you are a returning member of the Trees Tribe and you are a subscriber checking in to see what's going on, thank you also so much for stopping by. It does not go unnoticed or unappreciated, as I always say. So I had some errands to run today, so I decided to do this pink-inspired, really just fresh, beautiful summer makeup there is a ton of elf products that i use in this video all products that i use will be listed down below as usual feel free to switch this look up as you please if you don't want to put on no lashes don't put on no lashes baby it's fine put on some mascara and go on about your day if you want to switch up the lip this is just a very versatile look so i like lip gloss in the summertime which is why i chose to throw on a gloss but it like i said it's very interchangeable so do what works best for you but i will be giving some base tips i think i have finally perfected my base like my foundation concealer my powder all of that for the summertime i i think i got it right i think so i'm not gonna hold y'all up any longer make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it helps your girl out a lot and if you're not a member of the Trees Tribe, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, sis. You're going to be back. We have a great time. We talk. We get beat. All of that. So you don't want to miss out. I also have a video up of a review on this wig if you are interested in that with links included. So check that out as well. If you want to see how to get this pretty summer, perfect, appropriate, gorgeous look, then just keep on watching. Hey y'all. All right, so I want to publicly apologize first for my eyebrows. Look. <laughs> Look sis, I there's nothing I can say but I'm sorry. But I am priming my eyelids with the Elf 16 hour camo concealer. I'll have the color down below. I think this is tan sand, but I'm just blending that out with this fluffy brush. This is going to be the base for our quote quote shadow. So now going into the James Charles palette, I'm taking that light cream shade and placing that all over my lid or really on the part of my mobile lid the lower half I'm not going too high in my crease but I am just packing that on and then buffing it out with this other brush then I'm going to go into this elf bronzer this is the primer infused bronzer and I am placing that in my crease on the outer corner so I love doing this because it looks like you tried but you didn't do too much right so for a summer look, you really want to be kind of bronzy and glowy. Now you can do shadow, of course, if you like some pretty colors, some neons. Go for it, honey. I am not the one to tell you which colors to do. I'm just here to show you what I do. So bronzer can be a really good idea if you don't want to do shadow. You want to keep it neutral, keep it mute, keep it cute. So I just place that all in my crease and more so on the outer corner, a little bit towards the center. Then I just replace any of that light shade that maybe got lost when blending to keep the color. And then you just want to buff all of that out with a fluffy brush. Now I'm going into the e.l.f. liquid liner. I believe this is in extreme black, jet black. Honey, it's black and it dries matte. So I am starting in the middle of my eye and taking my wing upward. So doing this creates a wing that lifts your eyes. And I'll probably end up doing a video on how to lift the eyes. But for now, this is what I'm doing. I didn't take it all the way to the inner corner. Normally, I do, and I figured out I don't like that look as much. So when you start in the middle and take it upwards, it gives you a better look, especially if you have bigger eyes like I do. Honey, it's like a lift. I mean, you look brighter. You look more awake. So we're just creating a wing. Not too dramatic, but just enough, in my opinion, of course do as you'd like if you want to be bold honey be bold it's summertime let it out okay but for me it's gonna be a medium wing so now i'm just taking these lashes because i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i don't remember which ones these are but now i'm taking the elf jelly pop primer listen i watched juicy jazz on youtube and i love her and she said this was a dupe for the milk makeup now your girl does not own the milk makeup primer i just never hopped on the bandwagon but this okay this though for your base ma'am and i have oily combo skin perfection 
So now I'm going in with my Revlon Color Stay foundation in the color 400 caramel and I'm just buffing that in with this wet and wild flat brush now listen while I'm blending I'm gonna go back to that primer it is the business I wore it all day makeup did not slide I had to put on a mask at one point no transfer like and that's why I put the foundation right on top of that I didn't set it with powder because it is sticky enough to keep your makeup on literally all day through heat sun sweat all of that I, my goodness, that primer is for me, honey, and it smells like watermelon, so it gives you that summer vibe, but it's not overwhelming, and it doesn't irritate the skin, because I have really sensitive skin as well. So, yeah, that primer, everything. So now I'm going in with this HD Corrector by Black Radiance. Color will be below. Placing that in all the areas that I normally highlight my face, so under my eyes, forehead, and my chin, and then I'm going back with that e.l.f concealer we used in the beginning that 16 hour camo and I'm placing that on top and we're just gonna buff that out with one of these brushes from BH Cosmetics so all of these products are really good for the summertime because it's a mix of hydrating and matte when you're putting too many matte products on your face and you're oily it almost creates more oil which we don't want because then you look slick by the end of the day so if you do a good mix of moisture and matte that's how you get it to last. So for me, I kind of take hydrating setting sprays or primers and then I use matte products on top. So now I'm going back into that bronzer and I'm just setting areas on my face like I would do with my black opal powder I normally use. But I just tried something new with the bronzer and it worked out because that bronzer is like my color. <laughs> so now I'm going in with this black radiance powder. And I'm just patting that in under my eyes with this brush. Again, if you use too much powder sometimes, that's how you end up getting very oily. It does not take a lot. I can tend to pack it on sometimes, but I've noticed that when I use maybe a little less and just take my time and focus it better, it lasts longer and you don't end up looking cakey. So I'm placing that in all the areas I put down concealer and then I'm taking the Morphe banana deep setting powder and doing the same thing same areas same set just two different powders to really just kind of lock everything in then I'm just going down the bridge of my nose with this a dusty sponge don't mind and then back into that bronzer that bronzer has really been the star of the show so I'm using that to kind of just create the base for my contour warm everything up and then I'm going to go into the James Charles palette with that brown and just I always put stuff on and then blend it out so I just plop that down and then I'm going to buff it out with this big fluffy brush to give my face some more warmth and color and I'm sorry if y'all can hear my MacBook fan going it as soon as I start doing a voiceover that fan wants to be on a hundred so my apologies for the noise if you can hear it now this is where I kind of messed up I should have used a different brush for my nose contour because it got a little muddy but it's fine we're gonna blend it out so I'm going underneath my contour slash bronze with some powder and then I'm going back into that bronzer and using that to create a shadow under our eyes just to tie everything in together. Like I said, we really didn't use too much shadow, so that was perfection. Now I'm taking this Falsies Mascara. I think this is by Maybelline. I always get mascara by Maybelline. But I'm blending my lashes with the false ones. And then I'm going to create some lower lashes. But uh, kudos to my lashes. They have been doing what they needed to do all along. Growing. My top ones and my bottom ones. So you can really see them pop when I put on some mascara. And I'm lit about it. I'm excited. So just define your lower lashes. And you can put something in your waterline if you'd like. But I did not on this particular day. Now we're just going to buff everything out with a big fluffy brush to kind of make sure no powder is just kind of sitting where it doesn't need to sit. So now I'm going into this blush palette and I am giving myself some blush, some color on my cheeks. And I take my blush a little lower than I normally used to do it, but I like the way it looks. And then you just make sure you blend really well. It gives my little plump cheeks some rosiness. So now going into this e.l.f. Baked Highlighter and Blush Gems. This is really pink undertoned. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Considering I had the pink in my shirt and the pink that I was going for just for the overall look, 
I think this is so pretty. The Baked Highlighters from e.l.f. are the GOAT. They look like skin. They don't have too many chunky glitters. They are perfection if you're wanting that glass look in the sun. Girl. So now I'm just defining my part on my wig with some powder from this Black Radiance Contour Kit. Because you got you to gotta get it together. <laughs> then I'm drawing my faux moles with this Jordana pencil. Setting my face with the e.l.f. Matte Mist setting spray I really like this and then I always just end up going for that extra notch with the morphe setting spray looks like skin honey makeup lasts all day long and then I'm just letting it dry with this fan from shop miss a it was a dollar then I'm defining my lips with this lip liner by even and cork you see it's almost gone I use it all the time and then we're going to go with this elf pink gloss I'll have the color listed down below but you just want to put that all over your lips and put it on as much as you see fit. Um, I wear a lot of lip gloss when I wear lip gloss because if you ain't going to go big, what you doing? Then I'm just brushing out my wig and that is the final look.